my father murdered his ex-wife. He murdered her. He calculated, he planned, he plotted for six months. And he killed her. Shooters on the line. Is the line ready? The day, the hour, the moment is forever in the mind of Susan Murphy Milano. I knew something was wrong. I went over to the house. And uh, when I realized that there was a body on the kitchen floor. And what had happened? Uh, my mother had been shot at close range by my father. And my father had locked himself in the bedroom. And at close range put uh, the gun right up to his head at his temple for him and died instantly. Susan Murphy Milano's organization is called Project Protect. They find safe havens and sometimes bodyguards for women who are on the run. Also with us, three women who escaped, Pat, Deanna, and Kelly. Susan and Rita help women design escape plans or war plans, as Susan calls them, uh, used to slip away. Who, who would say... <laughs> That seems to be obvious that you wouldn't tell them that you're leaving. But Susan, I guess some people do or don't. Well, they think that they're going to go, ha, 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 I'm going to show you. And they blow their cover. He's got a plan of attack. She's got to have a plan of being safe. And being safe means doing things that are smart. It's like a diet plan. You yourself didn't go on a diet without having a plan, a change of lifestyle. Women across America have to do the same thing. And the plan doesn't work for everybody in the same way. But once you're on the plan, and have a focus yeah. and agenda, it's got to be for the rest of your life. My name is Jane Alice Smith, and I live at 99 Pine Street in Temple, Illinois. My date of birth is March 1st, 1975. I'm currently married to Thomas Gerald Smith, pictured wearing a tie in this photograph. My husband has planted voice recording devices in the house and bathroom. My husband tracks all cell phone activity. He keeps me from friends and family. Thomas owns two shotguns and a revolver handgun. Thomas has threatened to kill me with the guns if I go through with the divorce. In witness whereof, I, Jane Alice Smith, have signed this evidentiary will and abuse affidavit consisting of four pages. Husbands who kill, do it because no one will catch them, do it because they are sick and tired of the person not listening, do it because they have every right to do it. I own you, you are mine. I'm paralyzed by somebody just doesn't go away overnight. They live with it. So should the law be retroactive? Should any domestic abuse that he had in his past be grounds to take away his gun now? Yes, because you can't be half pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. And if he was ever convicted of domestic battery or domestic abuse, you'd take his gun away? Yes. Would because you? where were her rights in all of this? Why the hell does a victim have to jump through hoops to save her life, which is in a lot of cases? Why?